Hello everyone. Iran's nationwide uprising marked its 130th day on Tuesday as people in cities across the country continue to protest the official corrupt policies and incompetence in providing the nation's basic necessities. On Tuesday morning, investors of the Cryptoland online exchange held a rally outside the regime's judiciary building in Tehran, demanding the IRGC to return their stolen money. The users of Cryptoland have been holding protests for two years, but authorities are refraining from acting on their demands. Cryptoland had around 289,000 users, which have lost hundreds of millions worth of their savings in the online marketplace. In other reports on this day, school kids in the city of Javanrud in Kermanshah province, western Iran, took to the streets and began chanting anti-regime slogans, including, from Zahedan to Izeh, this country is bleeding, and death to Khamenei, damned be Khomeini. In Tabriz, East Azerbaijan province, northwest Iran, courageous youth set fire to one of the regime's official radio and television masts. Late last night, in the capitals Ekbatan, Sattar Khan, and Tehran Sar districts, brave girls protested and chanted the slogans against the misogynist Mullah's regime, including death to Khamenei and poverty, corruption, high prices were going to overthrow the regime. Also last night, Kelardash, Mazandaran province, northern Iran, saw protesters torch a poster of regime supreme leader Ali Khamenei, regime founder Ruhollah Khomeini, and the eliminated IRGC Ghost Force chief Qasem Soleimani. Following Saturday's devastating earthquake in Khoi, northwest Iran, regime authorities deployed a large number of security units to this city, and most are stationed in the Khoi Red Crescent, according to local activists. Anyone who protests is attacked and beaten with batons, the report adds. Also in Khoi, locals gathered outside the governor's office, yet again demanding regime authorities provide aid and food and protested to regime officials and demanded answer on why they haven't received any aid. Following Saturday's 5.9 magnitude earthquake that has devastated the city. In Sarapol Zahab, Kerman Shah province, western Iran, locals took measures in their own hands by gathering food and supplies for their own compatriots in the earthquake hit city of Khoi. These people suffered a major earthquake on November 25, 2018 themselves. Thank you very much for watching.